so dear students uh, today we are going to understand the numericals related to the shaft designing whether it's a shaft of a motor associated with the pump or the shaft that is associated with the agitator so basically the when you talk related to the designing of a shaft that means we are uh, uh, first is a material of construction and second that is what should be the diameter which will be suitable uh, to operate uh, that much uh, torque and that much stress bending moment so basically the bending moment and the torque the bending moment that is calculated by using the formula 2886 into ps into h upon n where newton meter is the unit for bending moment and the torque that is nothing but 9564 into ps upon n where the units are newton meter and n is in the rpm and ps is the power of the shaft then what will be the resultant stresses which is the most important thing to calculate the diameter because this formula that incorporates the diameter of the shaft ds cube that is what the diameter of the shaft so the shear stress says the resultant shear stress is occurring because of the bending moment and the torque that formula is 16 upon pi d cube into under root of m square plus t square so this is our basic formula to calculate uh, the shaft diameter then uh, as we are having the maximum shear stresses induced in the shaft which is fs 16 t in upon the pi d cube and when it is uh, applied for the shocks with a different load uh, then we are having the uh, for gradually applied load uh, the KS is 1 for a suddenly applied load with light shocks that is KS is equal to 1.5 and for suddenly applied load uh, with the KS uh, heavy shocks KS is equal to 3. So you are uh, designing value for the torque, uh, theoretical value and designing value. Immediately jerk jo mil rahi hai, to us waqt jada load rahega uske upar. And to accommodate this uh, extra load, uh, we are taking the factor of safety that is the KS for your shear stresses. Uh, so sharp diameter that can be calculated as the FS into the pi d cube upon 16 which is equal to KS into T. So similarly the bending moment that will also be calculated uh, with the using the KB as the factor. Uh, and this is also for the steady load its factor is 1.5 then with the minor shock the factor is 2 and with the heavy shock the factor is 3 uh, so the resultant shear stresses so the maximum shear stresses which is nothing but 1 upon 2 under root of ft square plus 4 times fs square then the uh, for maximum principal stress theory and this is from the maximum shear stress theory this formula is from the maximum shear stress theory that is fs max that is what maximum shear stress theory the failure of uh, the shaft that can occur with the different theories uh, some scientists they have proposed or considered the maximum shear stress theory which is nothing but half the under root of uh, ft square that is your tiny shear stresses plus uh, uh, shears four times the fs square that is shear stresses and uh, from the maximum principal stress theory that is again this is the second principle maximum principal stress theory where the principal stresses is your ten tensile stresses uh, so ft maximum which is equal to one by two uh, ft plus under root of ft square plus 4 times fs square uh, and uh, by substituting your for hollow shafts you will get these formulas and uh, now here the factors that is uh, related to the 
twisting moment and the bending moment equivalent bending moment and the equivalent test twisting moment so equivalent twisting moment that is kb into m square plus ks into t square that is what is called the equivalent twisting moment and the factor that is 1 by 2 root of uh, uh, 1 by 2 kbm uh, under root of kbm square plus ks t square this is called the equivalent bending moment so by considering these formulas, uh, we will solve the certain numerical associated with this. So these are my basic formulas. Uh, now we will see the numerical associated with that. So one by one we will see this uh, numerical, two numericals uh, we will see. Can you see the numerical now? So numerical that is uh, related to calculate the diameter of a shaft used in agitation system. So ultimate goal is uh, to do the calculations that is to calculate the shaft diameter. That shaft diameter should not, uh, shaft should be sufficiently strong so that it should be a it should not break while running so with considerations of uh, all the fluid parameters uh, we have to first calculate the uh, torque and the bending moment over that so the torque acting over the shaft that is uh, 115 uh, into 10 to the power 3 kg centimeter and the bending moment over that is 34600 kg centimeter so this is the bending moment and the a torque that is given and finally you have to calculate the shaft diameter besides that the ultimate tensile strength ultimate tensile strength that is the maximum tensile strength for that shaft material is given as 6900 kgs per centimeter square and uh, the ultimate shear stress which is 75 percent of the ultimate tensile stress but when it is talked in terms of the ultimate tensile strength, uh, this ultimate tensile strength and permissible tensile strength, two different terminologies are there. So ultimate tensile strength, that is the maximum strength to which the material that can be uh, exposed. But while, while considering the factor of safety, you have to divide it by uh, with this factor of safety lambda. So that six times the factor of safety we are considering in this case. So as a result, the actual strength, actual permissible strength, that will be taken as 6900 divided by the six. That means ultimate tensile strength divided by the factor of safety. Ultimate tensile strength upon the factor of safety that will give me the maximum permissible tensile stress or tensile strength. So this is the maximum permissible tensile strength. Similarly, the maximum permissible shear stress also that I have to calculate. That is the 75%. 75% of the ultimate tensile strength. So that is 0.75 into 6900 which is nothing but the ultimate tensile strength of the shaft material divided by the 6 that is the factor of safety. So these are the permissible tensile strength and the permissible shear stress values. Permissible tensile stress and permissible shear stress values. So ultimate tensile strength will be the very high. But what should be actually considered by taking into account the factor of safety? So your permissible tensile stress is less in comparison with the ultimate tensile stress. Now here uh, we are assuming that the load is steady. So Ks and Kb which is equal to 1.0. Assuming that the load is steady now the equivalent uh, twisting moment 
and the equivalent bending moment that is to be calculated. So equivalent twisting moment formula that is nothing but under root of m square plus t square. It is because of the maximum shear stress theory and equivalent bending moment that is uh, related to the maximum principal stress theory. So considering into equivalent uh, twisting moment that is m square plus t square you have already provided the value of uh, m and the t values. So bending moment value is 34,600 that is mentioned in the numerical and the T torque that is the uh, 1 lakh 15,000 that is mentioned. And so you will calculate this uh, equivalent twisting moment as 120092 kg centimeter. But uh, this is uh, twisting moment T. So this is the value of the torque twisting moment and this T which is equal to the Fs into pi d cube upon 16. Therefore T upon Z which is nothing but the Fs. So this is equal to this T values and from there you can calculate the sharp diameter which is d cube it comes as the 8.93 centimeter. So sharp diameter but taken into consideration the equivalent twisting moment. You get the sharp diameter value as 8.93 centimeter. Now switch over to the equivalent bending moment formula. So 1 by 2 m plus under root of m square plus t square. That is going to give you this value which is nothing but the equivalent bending moment. This is the equivalent bending moment value. So again Ft into pi d cube upon 32 which is equal to the 77,346 kg centimeter. And from here the diameter D that can be calculated as 9.7 centimeter. The previous case formula that is the equivalent twisting moment my calculation comes as 8.93 centimeter. And with this uh, calculations, uh, my shear stress value, uh, my diameter of the shaft that comes as 9.7 centimeters. So from these two diameters, uh, which is calculated from the equivalent uh, twisting moment, the shaft diameter that comes as the 8.93 and from equivalent bending moment, the sharp diameter comes as 9.7 centimeter. So I am going to select the sharp diameter for a 9.7 centimeter, or you can say the 100 millimeter sharp diameter that will serve my purpose, which will sustain 3,436, uh, kg centimeter values for the twisting moment, uh, for the bending moment and for the top 1,15,000. So this is the first numerical and ultimately we have calculated the sharp diameter. Now second numerical that is a centrifugal pump. Previous was the agitation or the agitator we have Listen. taken into account. Now we are going to consider a centrifugal pump is driven by a motor through a single set of 5 as to 1 reduction gear box. So I will draw here the figure incorporating the motor so this is my motor and to this motor the shaft that is attached and having a certain diameter. Then there is a certain gear box that is provided and the outlet of this gear box that is going to a centrifugal pump. So all the specifications related to this shaft that is a shaft between the gear box and a impeller and the second shaft that is associated between the motor and the gear box. So the two different shafts that will be there into the motor and the pump assembly or 
uh, if the gear uh, changes in the speed is not available then you can have a single diameter shaft also directly connected to a motor but mostly it is the variation in the speed that will be observed and uh, you so uh, coming to the numerical the centrifugal pump is uh, driven by a motor through a single set of IS to one reduction gearbox. Motor of the uh, HP that is given as 15 HP while the RPM is uh, 1725. The load can be considered to be applied with the minor shocks. When we call it the minor shocks that means the KS will be having the value of 1.5. This is the value of the KS that is the applied with a minor shocks. Calculate the diameter of the shaft on the motor and for the pump. That means we are calculating the two shaft that is on the motor and that is on the pump. Now the shaft which is uh, attached to the gearbox and the motor that is the shaft on the motor. And the shaft between the gearbox and the pump that will be taken as the shaft diameter uh, diameter of the shaft on the pump so two diameters because there is a gear box which is available so that much amount of the torque that should be transmitted from the uh, shaft between the motor and the gear box and the shaft between the motor uh, gear box and the pump so this uh, twisting moment on the shaft that is nothing but HP into 4500 upon 2 pi n where HP that is mentioned as 15 uh, HP into 4500 upon 2 pi into n that is nothing but the RPM. This is going to give you the units of kg meter. So this is the twisting moment T. Twisting moment T that uh, will have the value of 6.23 this twisting moment will have the value of 6.23 then by allowing the key way key way that is to be provided so what will happen the strength that will be reduced strength of the shaft that will be reduced the design stresses of the shaft material or you can also call it the permissible stresses for the shaft material the ultimate stresses are high, the permissible stresses are less because of consideration of the factor of safety. So this design stresses or maximum permissible stresses that is taken as the 0.75 because the shaft is uh, provided with a key. So its strength that is reduced by 25% when we have taken on the material so, so strength that is reduced to 75 percent shaft material hai. but shaft mein groove kiya hua hai key seat ke liye to key seat ke liye jab groove kiya hai so that i have taken on the material from the shaft and that is why the strength of the shaft that is reduced by 75 uh, reduced by 25 percent that much so 75% that will be remaining with strength. And uh, since the load applied is minor shock, KS is having the value of 1.5. So torque with uh, KS into the T torque which is equal to pi d cube upon 16 into the Fs. So in this numerical, uh, the KS is uh, 1.5. The torque which we have calculated that is the 6.23 kg meter which have converted 6 point, uh, 623 kg centimeter into the pi by 16 into the d cube into 420 that is nothing but kgs per centimeter square shear stresses kgs per centimeter square so this is the uh, from here i can calculate the value of this diameter shaft diameter which is uh, connected to the motor so by simplification i will get 2.25 centimeter as the sharp diameter and this diameter is connected to the motor this diameter is connected to the motor and not to the pump 
because there is a gear box that will be already present. Now coming to the calculations of the pump shaft. One is the motor shaft which is directly connected to the motor and the second is that is connected to the pump. So the shaft that is directly connected to the motor and there is a gearbox which is in between these two to manipulate with the speed. So this is the second shaft that will be associated and this shaft is connected to the pump, actual pump. So this is the actual pump, this is the shaft in between the uh, gear box and the pump. This is nothing but the gear box and this is nothing but the motor. So this is the shaft uh, diameter of the shaft which is connected to the motor. Now the speed uh, of the pump uh, is one fifth that of the motor. So RPM of the motor is one fifth into the 1725 that comes as the RPM for the pump because the gearbox is there. So speed reduction that is available. Uh, now the torque on the pump shaft which is nothing but the 5 into 623. 623 which we have already called the twisting uh, moment for on the motor shaft. Twisting moment on the motor shaft is 623 and it's a 5 times torque on the pump shaft that is 5 into 623 that comes as a 3000 kg centimeter. Therefore the diameter of the pump shaft that becomes equal to the 2.25 into the under root of 3. So this is uh, will come from our basic formula that is the uh, Ks uh, into the T. So by substituting <coughs> all the values of the 3, this shaft diameter is in proportion with the diameter Q. Diameter of this shaft which is connected to the motor is in proportionate with the diameter of shaft which is connected to the pump. So that is why it's a cube root. So this shaft diameter that comes as 3.83. That means the shaft diameter connected to the motor and the gearbox will be of the less diameter as compared to the shaft between the gearbox and the motor, uh, gearbox and the pump. So this is between the gearbox and the pump and this is between the gearbox and the motor. So these two numericals that will be associated with the pump and the agitator shaft. Now we will see the numericals related with the key. So let us first uh, revise related to the So can you listen me? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, but uh, can you see the PDF? No, sir. No, sir. 